what the hell should we do in America about learn brewing beer? <laughs> Belgium is the place to be. So it takes two months for us to to, to have a beer ready. So we let time uh, make make our beers. So some of the beers over here after ten days they're 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 out. We cannot imagine. It takes two months minimum before the beer is ready. Uh, it's tradition. We, we are more into tradition maybe than over here. And it, it's, it's different. But anyway, we can learn from each other. That's why we're here. We distribute with uh, a distributor in Boise, and the owner of that company. Uh, took a trip to Belgium to meet some of the breweries uh, and tour some of the breweries that he represents. And while he was over there, he met the owners of De Plucker Brewery. They started with a hop farm and uh, added a brewery to create some synergy. They thought it just made a lot of sense to take some of their hops brew beer. We brew and bottle on a farm. We brew only using the hops of yours. We brew organic beer, so we, we limit ourselves to the kind of malts we can use. So we kind of limit ourselves, but there are plenty of things to do with all those choices. So Grant introduced the two of us. He basically sent an email out and said, Jeff, meet Yuris. Yuris, meet Jeff. And then Jeff suggested to do a collaboration brew. That, that was not our intention. Our intention was to come here for three, four days and work in the brewery and see how it works and all that. But Chef said, okay, let's do a collaboration brew. And said, oh, well, yeah, why not? And so, yeah, here we are. If there's something we want to do that would definitely represent something special, it would be to use hops from them that uh, are not available generally to uh, us in the U.S. So we picked these Pilgrim hops and then they sent over a box. Um, and then yesterday we sat down and started our initial work on the recipe. So I think you get a little more mal malty flavor from it than you do out of a, yeah, some sweetness. Maybe a little nuttiness. So we're doing a continuously hopped beer that's something that was developed by uh, some breweries in the United States, but Chris uh, from Belgium was the one that introduced that concept to the beer. We actually int uh, introduced a Belgian yeast strain into it. So it's, it's uh, definitely a collaboration. Uh, it definitely melds American and Belgian uh, approaches to things but some of the American approaches are coming from Belgium and some of the Belgian approaches are coming from the American brewery. I didn't realize uh, what these guys are really doing. I mean, they make some wonderful beers and they're really in a way at the cutting edge of new Belgian, the new Belgian beer scene because uh, there are so many new breweries in Belgium but there are very few who are doing what these guys are doing with all organic uh, beers and although they don't really advertise that it's just what they do, it's inherent in what they do um, and I think they're breaking new ground so it's it's really pretty exciting and to be part of that is humbling for sure. <laughs>